What is up, heroes? This is Minade Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Lollipop Chainsaw Blind. In the last episode, we... What did we do? We finished up at the stadium. We fought off a Viking drummer from a goth band flying on a ship in the sky, and played baseball with a machine gun chainsaw. Wow, what a sentence, am I right? <laughs> and in this episode, we are going to head over to O'Bannon Farm. Psychedelic Haze at O'Bannon Farm. If, if everything up until this point was not considered psychedelic, I can't even imagine what this is going to be. Got to remember to get in the right head uh, headspace for the combat. Gonna aim for, you know, making zombies groggy, and remember all my, my good combos that I'm acquiring. I bet there's a really high ceiling. I, I'm actually really curious to see what a speedrun of this game would look like. I'll inevitably watch that afterwards, just because I'm sure there's some tech with regards to the combat and, and the movement, and I think it'd be really neat to see. Also, wow, this level took a minute <laughs> to load. Is that a cow? I think this is it's some sort of farm. Is that a zombie cow? Any minute another one of those stupid dark purveyors is going to show up totally bumming our worlds. Don't you think, Nick? 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 <gasps> Where's Nick? Where are you? Right here, Julia. Is he on the cow? Please tell me he's on a cow. What happened? I saved you! I was feeling so ineffective just being ahead and all. I thought it would be better to just go for the gusto. You know, get undead, the whole deal. No! How can this be happening? Oh no! <laughs> Juliet? Juliet! What? Rosalind! Who? My little sister! Let me guess, she's also a freaking zombie hunter? The one who just got her driver's license? Save you! Something's wrong with this bus! Oh, it's really irritating! Is that a new purse? Wait, it's your boyfriend! He's a decapitated head? Fuck me! That's the coolest thing ever! <laughs> <laughs> Well, hello. Secret dream to meet Justin Bieber. Uh, hi, Roslyn. Shit! Sorry, it's not my fault. This bus is fucked up. <laughs> Rosalind, this is Nick. Wow, it's cool. What does the bottom of it look like? Can you see the spine sticking out? Yuck! Awesome! It makes me throw up. Oh uh, yeah! Nice meeting you too. <laughs> what an introduction. Family's kind of uh, energetic, huh? Do you smell that? Ugh. Something fishy is going on. No, no way. This is all totally normal. Ah! The brakes aren't working. No! Ah! <laughs> ah! Hey guys, don't worry. I'm cool. I've got it all under control. Totally looks that way. Oh my god, the wink. Oh, fuck balls, I almost forgot! Happy birthday, Juliet! <laughs> this doesn't seem right. I guess you follow that boss. <laughs> god, I love this game. It's so Whoa, funny. Oh, Rosalind must have seen this on my Amazon wish list. Nick Popper! I can what? Your head with this. What? Nick Popper? That doesn't sound like it's going to be the most pleasant experience for Nick. The Nick Popper. Oh, it looks like one of those, like, party poppers you'd see on, like, New Year's Eve or something like that. Interesting. How do we use it, though? Okay. Wow. This is the old Bannon farm. 
of a run down. I love the way crunchy leaves feel under my feet. Whoa, McDonald's. I agree with that. Okay. And it's infested with zombies. All right, so we're getting some plenty of uh, grog going. Except they did not um, respond very well. In that they're still not stunned from all of these homing attacks. Oh my. That seems rather painful. Oh, really? I spent all that time going for the, uh, the groggy. I still end up getting hit in the end. That's alright. We'll pick up these bullets. So we've got some long range options available. Anything hidden behind here? What? Oh god. I feel you. I feel you 100%, Nick. Destroy a red barrel to blow up everything that is close by. Okay. Can I get a zombie sparkle for it? Uh, I guess not. What is up with these coins? Did you guys see that? Can I do this attack? Oh, no, they weren't ready for, uh... They weren't ready for their re-death yet. Who else we got back here? Dang, still took four hits. Alright, well, that's good stuff. Can fight our way through this. I mean, please, after all the walls we've... <laughs> the creative curses. Shoot now? Can I just, like, jump on it? Tough to hit him, jeez. Can I get more ammo, please? Thank you. Oof. Not not a fan of that language. We got like one more zombie left. Come on. Oh, two? This is proving rather difficult. Did we finally get it? We did. Can't rely on the homing. Can I get more? No. Come on. Alright, well, this should be a... Come on! Oh, boy. Oof, but you just crashed. Looks like we're gonna have to make our way over there too. Hopefully she can hold her own. I mean, if she's a zombie hunter. Just a family member, right? Oh no, I hope Rosalind's all right. We better go help her, Juliet. Press R2 to fire Nyx. All right, we'll do it when these guys show up. I, uh, I tried hitting R2. Come on. Did it not just say R2? I mean, we'll do Nick Roulette, I guess. There we go. Maybe it said L2. My bad. <laughs> oh, it's like a shotgun and it just stuns them all, I guess. So we can do this. And then we're about to go ham in terms of just getting all these hits in. None of those were sparkle hunting, though? Oh, that's kind of a bummer. Hey, we know what we do with those. Oh! We can get some uh, ammunition back here. That's pretty nice. I guess the game was anticipating if you were to... Oh, which way do I go? You probably have to blow that up, right? 
Eh, then let's see what we can find up this way. A lollipop. Alright. What I was going to say is the placement of those bullets back there is probably like a, if you wanted to run away and then go for blaster shots, the game was like, yeah, that's cool too. But Juliet, but it's kind of hurt in the back of my skull. Shut up, Nick. I know you're just being ironic because of my ginormous ass. I love that, like, Nick is kind of dancing too. I can't really take the time to look at it too well, but I definitely get a gist of it from seeing it on screen. Nick's head is on a body, and he's grooving, and he's grooving. I love that. Oh, I see. So we're about to see what happens when we fail, because I thought Nick was going to destroy this rock, but I should have known that we are going to have to do so. Wait, that's a game over? That's a game over? To start a Nick segment and realize you don't want to? There, there might be some other way to cancel the, the magic, the Nick segment, but dang, that's kind of harsh, isn't it? It's like I did, I, I realized I need to blow up the rock. Wait, 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 no, no, no! Ah! Oh, I'm gonna have to fight all those zombies again, too. Not that it's the end of the world by any means. In fact, it might even be nicer to try and do so. Oh, it says it's a roulette attack. I see. That makes sense. So yeah, I could like, theoretically come back here, fire away. And it's actually pretty effective, it seems. We can do uh, this attack a whole bunch to get at them. Probably would have gained more for my score doing it the other way because of all the stars, but that's all right. I feel like I don't know. It was a little bit more anticlimactic that time around. Either way, we can go up and get this lollipop again. I wish I remember what my score was after defeating that crowd before. We might be too far away. Let's give it another go. No? Hmm. Maybe there was just a requisite number of... I don't know. Hmm. Maybe I did just need to like stand in front of this for a minute. And have Nick do a few different like attacks there or something. Cause it doesn't look like there's a whole lot else to do. Alright, well, might as well give it a go again, I guess. I don't have much else to offer. Oh, so that's what it was. <laughs> it's the only way he's ever gonna cop a feel. Zombies wrapped in dynamite are explosive. Use this to create chain reactions. Time for you to go, kaboom. Okay, okay. Ooh. Got ourselves a lollipop back here. Let's go ahead and collect that. Any of these other guys have dynamite on them? Doesn't look like it. So we're in for a fair fight. Oh wait, no, he does. I changed my mind. I changed my mind, go back. Um. Ah, shoot, you're awfully close. Alright, I thought I was far enough away. Obviously misjudged. Dang, that one was pretty evasive there. Any of them left? No, but we do have a golden lollipop over here. Oh my! 
<laughs> That's unfortunate. I'm sorry to hear that, friend. I didn't mean to be insensitive. Die. Are these... Something I can fight? No? Are they a friend? Possibly? I don't know. Either way, I'm sorry, Mark. <laughs> what are the coins coming from? Oh, anyway, we're doing some, uh, some decent damage there. The pom-pom bashes do a lot more damage than I expected, and I appreciate how quick the attacks are. I'm digging this sort of, like, pattern of doing a bunch of pom-pom bashes and then jumping over. Zombies taste like Chainsaw Death. Oh, I can kill the chickens. This is going to be a, a Zelda reference where I start attacking them and they are very unhappy with that. Okay, let's, um, yeah, let's go ahead and give it a go. <laughs> a little bit of a, uh, I don't know, bigger body than usual for Nick. Let's see if he can put it to use. <laughs> Channeling his inner sumo? That's hilarious. Cool, that works for me. We'll take this ammo. Granted, we don't really need it. And proceed this way. Shoot now? Oh, I see. So I'm supposed to try and take advantage of the ones with dynamite? Oops. Well, they're coming up. Honestly, it'll probably be a little bit easier that way. Oh, I must not have killed them. Yeah, I guess not. Still not dead? Come on, man. Please? About time. We have full power, too. Aim for the head with your chainsaw blaster. This will kill zombies more quickly. Okay. That didn't seem to do the trick. I wish I could almost like... I wish I could have a little bit more control over the homing. What does goo goo good you mean? I think it means like, hey, what's up? <laughs> oh, man. I feel like once they're here, I might as well just attack them this way. I'd honestly prefer it. In my opinion, it's uh, it's more fun, it's a little bit more active, and maybe even more effective. There we go. What is that? Tractor? Okay, we can do something with that. Nothing back here? Alright. What in the world are we going to do with this tractor, then? Oh, I see. Wow, I really hope your sister isn't dead. Why are you saying that, Nick? Sorry, Faith. Can I go in these? No, I can't. Okay. Not surprising, but figured I'd try. Can't break through that either. Alright. Let's see if we can buy at the shop. We should have a good amount of medals by now. We've been saving up for a bit. Only 209? I thought I had like 300. Does it reset each level? Oh, that would be a shame. Wouldn't be unreasonable, but it would be a shame. Blaster roll, 12 volt refill, octopus roll, power dumbbells level 2. Oh, that's easily what I want. Homing sneakers, increases distance that Juliet homes in on enemies. I'm going to go with the power dumbbells. And now we only have 69 medals. All right. We could get the homing sneakers, which is pretty compelling. Let's check out the awesome skills segment, though. I don't think there's much that's new 
jumping downward stab attack, chainsaw paradise. But attack? <laughs> so there are new attacks. Dang, so they, they really incentivize getting a lot of these coins, which is cool. I think we'll save up for the next one. The next one is what? Purple Pride Uniform. That one looks pretty neat. I like that one. It's also relatively true to the sort of original outfit, um, which is neat. But I think we'll stick with what we have for now. Alright, looks like we finally met up with her. What's her name again? Rosalind? Rosalind? That one zombie was, like, on top of the bus. Uh-oh. Are you... Are you gonna attack me with that chicken? Why were you thinking that? They're trying to kill us! I was being facetious. I'll take care of them, Nick. <laughs> Where are they? Where's the last one? There you are. Should probably use a lollipop just to be on the safe side of things. And I think we're at maximum inventory for them anyways. I really like the design of the flying farmer zombies. No idea how it works, but hey, it's fun. Ah, phone call. Hey, it's Mom, Juliet. You are never going to believe Rosalind bought a bus. <laughs> yes, you heard right, a bus. Why would anyone want it? What is wrong with that sister of yours? More than you'll ever know. No, actually, she's probably a zombie hunter and knows full well herself. All right, so I'll use a lollipop. And are we at max? Yeah, about. Okay. So we'll take that one. We could take a couple of zombies and then put them in a wrestling ring and make them fight to death and take bets. That's inhumane, Nick. Come on. I mean, they're not human though, for what it's worth. Sorry, cow. I just had to see. Oh my! The uh, the cow attacks if you attack it, which is not unreasonable. And it also totally looks like a zombie cow. Okay, okay, point taken. I'll uh, mind my own business. Another phone call? Jeez, we just talked, Mom. Alright, let's head on up this way. Anything over here? Aha! <laughs> One of my favorites still is, Zombies taste like Chainsaw Death! We're trying to kill Roslyn, you jerks! Get off my line! Okay. Oh, so we're just like running after and then waiting for the boulders to show up so we can blast them? That was close call, honestly. That one is like way off in the distance, isn't it? Next one... Now we're good. We're just gonna have to chainsaw through this. But it's nothing compared to the other obstacles we've figuratively and literally broken through to make our... to make it here. Where are you? Rosalind? Wait, are you still on the bus? Uh-oh. Wait, why is she driving? She's gonna knock your head off. That would be so sweet. We'd match. Rosalind, <laughs> stop. <laughs> That's actually really funny. Damn, that was close. Okay. Just gonna be constantly on the lookout for a uh, variety of boulders coming our way. I think that should be all the ones that I see in our vicinity. Some zombies we can take out. And then another overhang where naturally a boulder is going to come from. Don't be racist against cows, Nick. <laughs> I love that. Uh oh. She knocked us off the bus. What is she doing? She's probably just being weird. All that hair dye has gone to her brain. 
<laughs> yes, that's what it is, Juliet. How did you know? Who's that? What? No, but there's something fishy going on here. Check out that mushroom. Oh boy. Well, here's why it's called the uh, the psychedelic haze, right? We're gonna eat this mushroom and then and then the cows are gonna do some crazy stuff, I'm sure. Oh my. <laughs> <sighs> Even the loading screen itself is just super trippy. Where, where, where are we? Master I'm Hand? Juliet. I, oh man, it's like some weird giant egg. <laughs> I love this. So that was uh, fairly straightforward, thanks to our magical powers. Got to fight all these chickens, man. You know what we're having for dinner tonight? There are more chickens over here. Don't think you can escape the fate of your brethren. Did we get a decent number of platinum medals for that too? It certainly seemed like it. Groovy Hunter. Is that for just like killing a certain number of enemies using that power up? Probably. We'll check out all the tra the trophies we've gotten at the end. Rosalind, are you all right? I don't know if Rosalind's in here. Figuratively and literally. Love it. Huh. What? Now we're driving a, a tractor of some sort? I don't know, man. <laughs> this game is crazy. I love it. This song is so good. They say you reap what you sow, and I want to sow a zombie death. Go, Juliet, go! This is awesome. Oh my goodness, we have a, a total of a hundred zombies we're aiming to. Well, run over with this combine. Do a little bit of backwards action here. That's poor phrasing, but you know. What is with all these songs in this game? A ding dong? I would never do drugs. Me neither. Gross. Right. I have no idea what a space cake is like. It totally doesn't remind me of the way I feel right now at all. <laughs> oh, Nick. One more zombie. Come on. Where are you at? Oh, target sighted. Today is your day, zombie. You narrowly escaped my grasp. It seems like we're closer back to reality. Oh. There's the combine we were just driving. No? <laughs> what? Come on. Did we get it? Okay, we did. Nice. Excellent dodge, Juliet. Where are the zombies?
Nice. Do we rescue the person? I guess not. Well, that's a bit of a bummer. Okay. All right, we're we're gonna retreat for a moment. Get some uh, some groggy gang going. All right. Obviously not uh, incredibly effective. I think we really gotta up the power of our groggy attacks, because right now it's taking quite a few hits to actually get them groggy. And yeah, I think we could have rescued that gentleman that was there had we not done the boulder, but the boulder was so tempting, and I was like, oh, it's there for this specific reason. But alas, it was a trap. Here we go. Uh oh, We're fenced in somewhere. My sister's acting so strange. Whoa. Which makes her normal considering it's your family. That uh, that had me scared for a moment. Oh shoot! I was like, where where are the other two? And I got my answer. At least those guys are fairly weak, right? Oh my, plenty of medals. Okay. Uh, I don't need to get that refill. And it's time to go shopping. We only have like 160 something medals though, right? There's not a lot we can buy with that. Not over this way. Maybe I'll buy this. Just because I'm not always hitting with my pom-pom bashes. And that might be nice. This is probably low yield. I don't think we can actually even really get much meaningful with just 106 medals here. Yeah, so we'll see, but we'll probably get a new technique with the next shop. Oh, I was gonna say I should have. I wish I had my GPS to find that bus. I probably should have used the lollipop before, and unless I'm getting some sort of bonus. I don't really know if I am. What's going on with these guys? Here I am going on my way to interrupt them. They're just trying to, uh, you know, tend to their crops. Okay, anything else of interest? Hit the correct buttons to reach higher areas using the trampoline. Huh, that's pretty neat. Seems like it could be fun. Oh, what? Alright, so first things first. Got a lot of zombies to deal with here. Oh wait, what? The trampoline's gone? Oh no! So, when it initially showed X, I, I hit X and I didn't see it immediately go away. So I hit X again, but then it had switched to square. Oh, that's a real bummer. That's actually a real bummer. Can I, like, first person see what's up there? I mean, it looks like, in this case, it's just metals that we really missed out on. Although, it looks like we could have gone up there, maybe. And, yeah, that's the real treat that we missed out on, the golden lollipop up there. So, kind of a bummer that's a one-shot thing. I really don't think it should be, if I'm giving my honest opinion. Because it means if you miss it once, you have to replay so much of the level just to get back here to, to try one more time. Which, in my opinion, isn't great game design, but not the end of the world. I'm sure we'll have a trampoline we can interact with in the future. Because I'm sure we'll get funny little actions and poses from Juliet and, and commentary from Nick, I'm sure. Nice acrobatic jump. And there's Rosalind again. Rosalind, be careful! Bomber zombies are coming towards you! That's some whacked out shit! They're bomber zombies. That's intense. Is there one closer to her? No? Pretty soon they're gonna start running, I'm sure. Oh, I'm standing on the blaster bullet spawn, I think. Not a bad position, then.
Uh oh, they're starting to run. Dang, they're fast. Okay. What if you flew up in a helicopter over a horde of zombies and you saw they were standing in the shape of a smiley face emoticon? Oh my god, I would love that. Are you sure you haven't eaten a space cake? <laughs> That was a pretty interesting uh, chain reaction. Oh, shoot. I was going to say I totally missed one before I reloaded. Hold on tight, Juliet. He literally moved like 20 feet before she already drove right into like what you'd have to go out of your way to hit. up this way doesn't seem so it's another one of those mushrooms Juliet I'm gonna cut it open oh. yeah. hmm oh boy this time we've got the zombie horses nearby what in the world are we gonna experience this time you truly never know with this game I wonder what it would have been like to be developing this game, right? To be on the studio that's like, hmm, what's the next wacky thing we can have Juliet and Nick run into, right? Or do you even come up with ideas like this? Rosalind? Rosalind? It's three of those chicken things. I love it. Although, unfortunately, we uh, do not have the benefit of our magical powers this time around. Although, we can do a fair amount of damage, honestly, with our chainsaw attacks. It's just a little bit difficult to keep track of who's attacking. Oh, man. That was intense. Oh, no, it's Colonel Sanders' worst nightmare. That's hilarious. So true. Darn, I tried to react in time. It was not successful, though. Uh-oh. Here we go, the second one. He's going down. He's running around like a like a headless chicken. And the final kill. It's gonna put us into full magical meter. Nice. Oh, it's the stars that recharge that. That's totally what the stars do. I can't believe it took me this long to figure that out. One zombie. One, like, massive chicken. What? All right, if you're gonna if you're gonna home, might as well home, right? Okay, is this like a play on Cerberus, but like with a with like a chicken analogy? Ah, oh, darn it! I thought I was far enough back. Wow, that is one evasive chicken head. Like Mecha, Mecha Chickenzilla. Oh, what? For one hit away, come on. It's like Mecha Chickenzilla. Come on. 
That wasn't even the right bus. Okay, so we took down the three-headed mecha chicken monster. <laughs> and now we're returning back to reality, I guess? Having made some sort of progress while we were in this psychedelic haze. But make sure to avoid the red barrels. <laughs> I love the music that plays. Be careful, Juliet. I have a feeling this tractor's flammable as hell. I mean, we know that from shooting at the previous ones, right? I don't know why. All of a sudden, my my left analog stick feels weird. Run their asses down, Juliet. Like from like a tactile feedback perspective. So, I mean, I guess we can really just, like, kind of stick to this perimeter if we wanted. Oh, we're awfully close. This, like, outer rim here. It's gonna take a minute, though, to get to 300, right? If only we can get sparkle hunting for this. We get plenty of medals. Now we can back up a little bit. And then moving into this area. I'm pretty good at driving a tractor, huh? Uh sure. You're lying. I can tell. You crinkle your nose. Oh This is a bad situation. Can we just kill zombies, please? Eh. Excellent driving skills. On display right here, right now. Next let's play Need for Speed Most Wanted. Which, for the record, is probably my favorite, it's definitely my favorite Need for Speed game. But it's probably one of my favorite racing games of all time. It's only real competition for me is Midnight Club Dub Edition, which, honestly, if you're watching this, if this is your thing, <laughs> racing games are probably far from your set of interests. But hey, here we are. Alright, we're almost two-thirds of the way there. I think actually what's kind of interesting is I think it is set up like a course so that you're supposed to go through it like a track, right? So I go here and then I start to turn right. Oh! Whew. That was a little, a little close for comfort. And then I turn left through here. Yeah, so the whole idea is that this is like functionally an obstacle course you're supposed to make laps around. Are we losing HP? I don't think so. I think we're just on that low from the, the Chickenzilla fight. You are doing awesome, girl. It reminds me of that music video, Chicken Attack. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that, but it's it's a hilarious music video. Worth, honestly, even just pausing this video to check it out. Alright, two more. Nice. Yeah, for some reason my, my left analog stick feels like like it's not as mobile as my right one. It's a fairly new PS3 controller though. I have a PS TV and I hadn't used it. I, I bought it new like two years ago and I hadn't used it much at all until I got my PS3 fixed up slash back in my possession and was like, I need a PS3 controller. My old ones weren't really up to snuff. So use this one. So it's pretty close to brand new, which is surprisingly rare. We're coming. What's going on? I feel kind of dizzy. Like that time Father O'Malley roofied me. <laughs> that time Father O'Malley roofied you? That doesn't sound like a very good experience. Alright, well, we'll take a look at the shop. We should be able to get a new technique. What do we want to get is the question. Low spin attack that evens the odds. Lollyocopter chainsaw paradise. We can't do that. I want to save up for the butt attack, honestly. <laughs> I really do. But the only one we can get it this time is the Maelstrom Spin. Low spin attack that evens the odds. I think this actually makes sense. X and then square, square, square. Spin around in a low position to sever legs. Warning, zombies may not walk correctly afterwards. I think there have been times where I've struggled with a lot of crawling enemies around me. And so this would be something that would be good to have for that. Yeah, that's that's pretty solid. Okay, so it's R1 for the, the chainsaw dash, right? Oh, come on. I, I, just in I know. 
It's like a German porn video around here. What is that? What? You don't watch porn, do you, Nick? I mean, I've seen it, but no, I've never watched it on my own. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh, we're about to get swarmed. Alright, alright. We're uh we're about to go ham here. We're getting totally swarmed. We've got 14 zombies to kill. We've got the meter. We're just gonna go for it. Did I miss that there was a pole in the middle? No, there wasn't. That was, oh, there was a pole. I could have used that. Aw, oh, man. In your clear lucite heels? <laughs> it's hilarious. Alright, I was gonna say, this would have been really helpful. Oh, we still get medals just for doing that? That's pretty neat. I wanna get those two medals over here. Alright, onward we go. Eh, we still got this the big sparkle hunting. I don't regret using the meter there. I love the way she kicks down doors and stuff. That last spin kick is pretty cool. Okay, we've got some explosive barrels we can utilize. Otherwise... Oh, interesting. So there's probably a... Yep, something over here. Is that a regular lollipop? I think it is. So we might as well heal. Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Whatever this entails. I mean... Am I supposed to progress through this or just kind of hold my own? It seems like it's... The ladder? It's kind of odd. I guess I'll keep walking forward and see what we can do from there. Get some more bullets here. We've only got like 11 more to go, don't we? Come on. That should take care of a couple. Yeah, I mean, for what it's worth, they're not really advancing very quickly. The the homing was making that a little bit difficult. Oh, there's a guy up there. Anybody else I need to get? No? I think we're in the clear. I also didn't realize there would be another shop. Would have saved up, potentially. Although, again, I do think we got a good option for our last technique, right? I think it will be helpful. It also seems like it's a good just kind of like clear out a bunch of enemies type of attack, you know, so, a sort of get off me move. Another phone call? This is the third one in this level. I love it. Like, can we just like pause for a moment and take a second to think that somebody in the game designer team was like, you know what would be great here? A phone call from your mom where she asks you to buy milk for your birthday cake and then realizes she has it on the counter. Like, <laughs> it's absolutely hilarious. I love it. Anyways, this, uh, that farmer there is not doing so hot. Oh. I'm not doing so hot. Wait, what? They were beating up on one of their own zombie friends. Let's try our new attack. Alright, I mean, it wasn't as, uh, as effective as I anticipated, but not too bad. That was pretty cool. do a bunch of these. Eventually we'll get one with the kill. It's such a neat touch that she's basically like doing the splits while doing that too. 
Aw, oh, man. Oh, man. Basically what it's saying the whole time. <laughs> what? Did you hear the zombie? <laughs> it was saying it loves us. Okay, we got a golden lollipop over here that we can take. And what are we going to find over this way? I'm getting a great calf workout with all this jumping around. Yes, you I are, Juliet. No? What do those blue barrels do again? I don't remember. No. It's like evil carrot dudes. Someone's using some fucked up fertilizer. <laughs> That's a funny way of putting it. Come on. Ah, darn it. Alright, well that wasn't the intent. Also, yeah, these are definitely different zombies compared to before. Let's go over this way. Nope, not that one. Come on. I didn't want to aim for that one either. <sighs> I wanted to get a good group of them together and then... Come on. I'm too close, I'm too close, I'm too close. Now. Alright, well that was not very effective either, honestly. We got three. Confirms at least that we can't get sparkle hunting for it. So, let's just go ahead and do this. I thought maybe we could get like an eight zombie sort of sparkle hunting attack. Oh, what? Oh, man. Oh, the blue ones make them groggy, right? Alright, so we're gonna do this. Back up, back up. Come on, guys. Come on over. Come on over. And... Nah, that's not very effective, honestly. This would be a great time to have full meter. There you go, Juliet. I'm surprised that wasn't a uh, sparkle hunting. Well, we're gonna have full meter any second now. Oh, you know what I should have done? That's right, the blue ones make him groggy. I should have done that. Okay, we're gonna, here's what we're gonna do. Oh, I'm so excited, are you guys ready for this? Right in the center, right in the center. Come on. Here we go. <laughs> oh, big sparkle hunting time, guys. I hope you're, I hope you're ready. It's like every other hit is gonna be sparkle hunting. Can I get a five? Please? Ah, oh, just another four. It's alright, we are mowing through them. There are only like, what, five or so of them left? No, zero of them left now. Wow. That was pretty effective. And we got a Nick ticket, nice. You know what? Aw, oh, man, I'm gonna break through this, but I should go back and shop again, shouldn't I? Yeah, I totally should've. Another one of these guys? Alright, alright. Oh, you throw stuff at me? Yeah, this seems like a fairly effective technique. I mean, I'll take it. Nice. Sorry, roll's taken. So we can go that way. Oh, there's a lollipop over here. I'm gonna be more liberal about using my lollipops. Now I wonder, can I go back and buy stuff? Doesn't look like it. Ah, darn. Okay, because we've got, you know, well over a couple hundred medals now. Oh, well, question answered. <laughs> Here's my opportunity. What do we want to buy? 
We could get the next... Or no, we can't, actually. I think it's 310. The old one was 250, I think. Yeah. So, let's see here. Let's take a look at our awesome skills again. Chainsaw Paradise... No, the butt attack. It's absolutely going to be the butt attack. <laughs> Hold square and release. Juliet will hit an enemy with her posterior and make them groggy. <laughs> I, um... I can appreciate... Never mind. <laughs> Oh man, I was going to test out the attack before before we stepped into this cutscene, but this is presumably where we're going to fight that next Dark Purveyor. Hurry, Juliet, get in! You don't seem like the safest ride in town. I was worried about you. Are you okay? Yeah, I guess. This stupid bus broke down, but I fixed it. Hey, Rosalind. Nice meeting you up close. Uh, hmm? How did you fix the bus, Rosalind? Just last week, you had to take your car to the shop because you didn't know cars needed oil. How could you know how to... <laughs> Rosalind, uh, where are we going? Uh oh. Rosalind? Hey. Interesting. So this zombie was basically pretending to be Rosalind this whole time. Huh, interesting. It seems like we're entering the, the psychedelic realm. Confirmed psychedelic realm. <laughs> Save Rosalind. World of everlasting peace <laughs> and rot <laughs> and hell. Mariska. Dang, she's got a cool design too. Go on, child, into the rush of chaos and dark. Darn it. So this is not going very well. What? I was already attacked by one? I gotta time my attacks better. Oh, nope. Get out of there. Theoretically, you could keep just moving like this, I think. I'm being so careful, Nick. You have nothing to worry about. Run on over! Alright, well, I guess that's the first stage. Right down the middle. Why are there American flags in the background? Uh oh. Two truths become. That's so cool. There's like four of her. Is this for real? What the hell? 
the um the sort of like rainbow wait what the rainbow bubble surrounding them reminds me of Mew from Pokemon Snap for those of you that have played that game one it's a wonderful game and I love it very much two I've actually done a let's play of it so I recommend checking it out and thirdly it's a very odd comparison, yes, I do realize. Did I hear a chicken? Why did I hear a chicken? Come on. I gotta get this combine. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, not good, not good, not good. Not good. I need a little bit more ammo. Come on. Okay. So we're doing a decent job, I think. We're making some progress. I think we got one of the bubbles. That's two of them. A little bit behind on one of them, but that's okay. Wait, what? Now there are three of them again? Is there... Oh, I bet there's like a main one. Shoot that hippie. Working on it, Nick. Working on it, I promise. All things considered, I think it's going okay so far. That's not the real one, is it? No. Oh, we're kind of low on ammo. Got something against hippies, Nick? Jeez. Oh, darn it. All right, we actually didn't take all that much damage from that, to be honest. Nice. All right, Julia, we gotta run over. Time to finish her. Time limit, only five seconds, jeez. Okay. Second round essentially complete. We've seen this before. Come on. <laughs> Four truths become. That's a lot of truths. What's kind of neat is, to an extent. Oh, what? What is. The butterflies? Interesting. Oh my. What the heck? Huge hand? Can I attack it? Nope, I can't. In fact, I can get hit by it again, though. So let's get away from that. That didn't work out so well. What's kind of what I was saying is that it's kind of nice you can just sort of shoot in this general vicinity and you know you're making progress. I don't really know how to avoid that attack extremely well. For the most part, I guess that's okay. Oh, the butterflies are coming around. Am I taking damage during this, or what? Or no, it just impacts my movement, I guess? Either way, some of these are looking pretty low. Alright, we gotta run. Run, 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 run. It's probably a good time to just kind of stock up on bullets for a moment. Some of those bubbles are definitely disappearing. So we're making progress. That hand keeps coming, though. Getting some big uh, master hand flashbacks. Okay, we got eight seconds to get over there. I think we can do it, guys. This might be the final blow. Down the middle again, Juliet. That's pretty aggressive. Really doubling, no, tripling down on this slash when it's kind of backfired a little bit, a couple times in a row. Well, that marks the end of that battle. Choke on your Birkenstocks, you psilocybin munching moron! Heavy. Peace.
legs out, way out. <laughs> <laughs> She's like doing a wheelie, <laughs> or what's it called, an endo, <laughs> with the chainsaw. Whoa, we've been here the whole time. Robert? The whole thing was an illusion? She's not here. Juliet, are you ready to boogie woogie? <laughs> Who is this? The one you ain't gonna level up on. Why are you pretending to be Stephen Hawking? Oof. I got the freaky little super freak right here. Get your hands off of me, you zombie pedo! Juliet, don't worry about me, I... If you want your sister back, baby, you need to win a game with me. Make your way to the Fauci Fun Center. <laughs> I can't wait to party with your crew like it's 1983. It's a trap, Juliet. We can't just rush in there alone. We don't have any other choice, Nick. Who's gonna help us? Cordelia? Hey, baby. <laughs> They're playing up the Elvis look. Starling? That's hilarious. Also crazy, the whole like, it was all an illusion the whole time? Anyways, did a little bit better that time. Cool, B+. Plus. I think that's the best we've done yet. I, I really liked that level. That was a very fun stage. The only thing I disliked was that the trampoline mechanic, but otherwise, I mean, it was super fun, the visuals were super trippy, super cool, super creative, a lot of varied gameplay, interesting zombie designs, the boss was really cool, funny calls from mom, funny story developments as well, and yeah, I've got nothing to complain about there. I mean, that was, that was another, as expected, really, really fun time. And it looks like next up, we're gonna have the Fulci Fun Center. <laughs> Where we're going to be going against Zombie T-Pain or something like that. But, of course, we're going to be going to that fun center in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was a ton of fun, as, as I have come to expect from this game. And I hope you guys had a lot of fun with it, too. But, until the next episode, this has been Night Zero. And this mission is complete. <laughs>